when I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. Hey everybody, I know it's been a while. I've been quite busy with my actual job and though I've been gathering info and data together for videos, I haven't had time to edit anything together. I've uh, I packaged and shipped out all of the t-shirts and even had a chance to hand deliver a few of the relatively local addresses, which was cool because people make some pretty awesome faces when someone from their computer screen is suddenly standing on their front steps. By the way, the store is back open again if you want to get a shirt. Yesterday, I flew from Oakland to Dallas and then Dallas to Shreveport, Louisiana, and now I'm at a hotel in Marshall, Texas, which is where I'll be for the next week to 10 days. Uh, but during my flight from Oakland to Dallas, I got some nice video dealing with two claims that Flat Earth proponents continually put forth. That the horizon always rises to eye level and that we never see a curved horizon no matter how high up we go. The flight from Oakland to Dallas wasn't unusually high up. It was 36,000 feet, I believe. But there were moments when it was clear enough to see the distant ground horizon, not just clouds, and to see that it was both curved and lower in the field of view. So what I did was take some establishing shots of the horizon while on the ground in Oakland. Now this is taken from an iPhone XS uh, without any zoom. I put the horizon high, low, and in the center of the visual field so you can determine the amount of, of lens distortion there is, which is a big excuse flat earthers pull out when the curve is actually shown. I also recorded through the Theatolite app to get the crosshairs in there. So you can see while on the ground, the horizon is flat and pretty close to eye level. But as we go up in elevation, the horizon drops lower. And when we get up to our maximum altitude, you can clearly see how much the horizon has dropped. Now, the Theatolite app isn't perfect. And you could say, well, your camera is actually pointing up a bit. But we can compare the images taken by the same app at the same settings. And you can clearly see the horizon has dropped. And on top of that, you can clearly see the horizon is curved. Now, there is no fisheye lens distortion here. The horizon is curved when it is high in the field of view, or low, or in the center. It's not the aircraft window either. There would be a curve at a low altitude, too, if that were the case. And just to drive it home, we can see how flat the horizon looks when we get back on the ground in Dallas. Here they are in succession, so you can compare them. Just before takeoff in Oakland, at 36,000 feet, after landing in Dallas. Pretty evident, folks. So the next time one of you asks where it's a curve, this is what you're going to see, because there it is. I look forward to your excuses. That's my job. That's what I do. I don't lose. I win. I win. Is there no one on this planet to even challenge me? Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory. 